Welcome to 72 Hours. I'm Tristan, the Gadget Guy, and we're here in the Gadget Workshop today. And today I'm going to be showing you how to convert an old-fashioned incandescent flashlight to LED. Now, the reason you'd want to do this is because incandescent bulbs are power wasters. They burn a ton of energy. You, you go through batteries like nothing in them. And even the replacement LED bulbs you buy in stores are designed for brightness and maximum power usage. So I'm going to be taking this flashlight, and the reason we chose it, it's waterproof, has replaceable gels, and is generally highly impact resistant. And I'm going to be replacing the old incandescent bulb in here with an LED. This is not the sort of thing you want to be doing when disaster strikes. This is preparation. This is getting ready, because this will have a runtime of 100 hours, give or take, on two D-cell batteries, two alkaline D-cell batteries, versus five, ten hours of an incandescent, or 20 to 30 on a regular LED. That kind of runtime can be the difference between life and death out in the wild. These are the items you will need to complete this project. A small brass washer that fits tightly inside the old light bulb socket. A straw hat LED of about half a watt in power. A fast setting epoxy. Heatsink thermal compound. A soldering iron. And of course, flux and solder. Now, the first thing we're going to do is drill out the hole on the washer so that the LED fits inside of it. I used a drill press with a step drill bit, however, I believe that with some ingenuity, you could probably use a hand drill. We are going to sand down the outside edges of the washer so that it fits smoothly and comfortably inside the light bulb socket. Now, I used a piece of sandpaper mounted on glass, however, you can sand this however you see fit. The finished washer drilled and smoothed. For our next step, we will take our epoxy and dole out a glob about the size of a quarter. Then, we will add a small amount of our heatsink thermal compound to the epoxy. Finally, we will mix it up very thoroughly. Then, we will apply it to the outside and bottom of the LED. This will act as a heat transference compound as well as an adhesive to attach it to the brass washer. Here we are inserting it. Here we add a little bit more. You want to make sure it is entirely secure and that you have good heat transference. Remember, you want to keep this LED well heat synced. And here you can see the final setup. Next, we will take our mounted LED and insert it into the light bulb socket and twist it all the way in. Next, you will take the short pin of the LED and solder it to the outside of the socket. Finally, you will take the longer pin and bend it over so that it may contact the positive connection inside the flashlight and then put the whole thing together. You're done. You have a working flashlight. And so that is how you make your simple old incandescent flashlight into a high efficiency LED flashlight. Always make sure that you leave your epoxy enough time to harden before you start screwing everything together. I learned that one the hard way. This has been Tristan the Gadget Guy with 72 hours. Thank you.